Hey guys, welcome back to Critical Flick. Today we're going to be talking about Bumblebee. So we got a little early advanced screening of this. Regal had screenings that you were able to purchase, so we saw it tonight. And I have to say, I think it is a little bit of a improvement in the Transformers franchise. Definitely think it's an improvement from the last couple we've seen out recently. Actually, has a story, beginning, middle, end. There's no weirdness thrown in there. So this movie takes place in 1987, and it is basically about Bumblebee's escape from Cybertron. He lands on planet Earth, meets Haley Steinfeld's character, Charlie, and the Decepticons are trying to hunt him down. And he doesn't know who he is, and he doesn't know what's going on, and it's their relationship mixed with him being chased by the Decepticons. This movie really remind me of Big Hero 6 with the whole, you know, Bumblebee you can't really talk, Baymax and that movie doesn't really talk, and it's basically about, you know, Charlie trying to find herself after her father has passed and the relationship that she builds with Bumblebee. It was very similar to Big Hero 6 to me. Yeah, he did have a very Baymax quality to him. He was kind of cute. He was like kind of a cute character. He wasn't this badass robot until like certain points in the film, but... Honestly, I, I really liked it. I liked their relationship in the movie and them helping each other really kind of become who they are. Yeah, I really liked their relationship. I liked their bonding moments that they had with one another. And you, you, I don't know, it was just really cute. Uh, the story, though, to me was a little, I don't know. I, well, see, I wasn't a fan. Well, see, I feel like the story is pretty basic. I mean, it is a pretty basic story. It has a very E.T. feel where, like, a creature comes and it's being chased by the government and then it's like... I don't know. It it's a pretty basic story, but I I think it's better compared to the other Transformers films. Like I personally, as you would see on our channel, I hated the last Transformers movie. I pretty much hated the last three. I don't Transformers even know what movies. the last one was. Called. I like the first one, but it's we don't need this convoluted backstory. We're not all huge Transformers fans. Like I don't know anything about the Transformers universe. I just think they're cool looking, and I think the fights are cool, and I think stuff like that's cool. So this movie. Goes pretty bare bones on it. It doesn't really dive deep into the lore of the Transformers. Yeah, and I'm glad they really didn't and they just stuck around focusing on Bumblebee and him trying to figure out who he is because he's lost and, you know, and everything. And on top of the fact that this movie, like I said, it's different than the other Transformers movies, it kind of focused a lot on him as a vehicle and the other Decepticons and Transformers in their vehicle forms. And I thought it was cool how they interacted with the world around them instead of just being these big monsters that are smashing everything every chance they get it felt like he'd not he's trying to blend in like it was really more of him being a transformer and not being this giant monster robot that's just here to smash things yeah and also it had a very like 80s 90s movie feel like it was super cheesy in a lot of parts yeah and then you know be serious but then go back to that cheese factor again but it wasn't like cringeworthy cheese factor you know that you don't want to see in a movie it kind of flew with the story and like the comedy in the movie worked i feel like for the most part because in our audience a lot of people were laughing so i think that's good in the movie yeah and it, it leans into being like 1987 the, the music the culture the references even just like yeah she said the style of film feels very lighthearted in like that 80s early 90s action type movie it's not this super serious movie like the Transformers movies tried to be in the past where it's life or death, the end of the world, you know, the, the, the world's collapsing in on itself and there's rockets and nuclear bodies. It's, it's, it's really just a basic story and there are high stakes, but it doesn't feel as ridiculously high stakes as the other films. Yeah. Smaller scale. Yeah, definitely. And I want you to count how many songs they play in the beginning because it was a lot. They're just like, we are in the 80s, here's 18 songs, we're in the 80s. Yeah, they really want to push that forward. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't hate that. I know that's been a thing in Hollywood and television and everything recently where we kind of are going retro on our music and everything. Like, it's fine. I don't hate it. Some people hate it and they think it's gimmicky. I didn't I hate really it. Hate I just it. thought it was funny. Like, I know, if you're in the 80s, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I definitely like the action scenes in this movie. Like, you talked about, like, for a moment. They still have those really cool where they transform in and out and how mm -hmm. their fighting styles. I really think that's really, I don't know, it's just really cool looking. Every time you see it, you're like, oh, how yeah. they put all the parts and how it goes so well together. I like that. Yeah, and it, it doesn't have that Michael Bay feel to it. You can mm -hmm. tell this movie's not directed by Michael Bay. Yeah. There's not the insane amount of explosions, the insane amount of just smashing of Transformers together, like somebody took two toys and just slammed them together. It has more fluidity to it. It has more kind of like oomph to it. Like it felt like with the hits and everything, it felt more 
real and like there was like oh these things can actually hurt each other it wasn't just let's smash everything together and make loud noises i feel like this movie paid a little more homage to uh the transformers tv series just by their the way they look and you're just like yeah okay transformers are kicking butt and yeah it, it's cool seeing them in that 80s style like how they originally looked it's not the michael bay style it looks a little more cartoonish kind yeah. of honestly and i like that and i like that you got to see a few different transformers I'm not going to spoil for anything but you see more than just Bumblebee, and I thought it was great. I thought the in opening intro scene, everything's going down on Cybertron, was really cool, and I liked seeing all that, and I was in. I was from the first, this movie goes quick, and I was in when it started, and I liked it. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> I would give this movie a 5.5. I feel like, you know, it's it's decent. It, it's not great, and I honestly don't know if you can make, like, a great Transformers movie. Yeah, I mean, I feel like the the best would be the first one, but I think I'd give that more than a 5.5. I don't know. I just, it was a, I like the action sequences in it. I like Charlie and Bumblebee's relationship in it. But it was, you know, yeah, it had cheese to it. And it was this very predictable storyline. And it had a lot of similarities to other movies, which, you know, a lot of movies have the same. But I don't know. I just, you know, I walked away and I was like, okay, yeah, that was cool. Yeah, I actually surprisingly really enjoyed it. I would give this movie a 7.5 out of 10. I thought it was a lot of fun. I thought that it was what I wanted from a Transformers movie, and it felt refreshing coming off those past few movies. They're such a slog, and they're so bloated, and they just try to jam everything in there, and it's just so stupid. I'm sorry, but you have to admit that they're not, they're not fun, or at some point, they're just not good, and they're long. And these ones, this one was fun. Like, this one was short ish compared to those ones it's under two hours yeah it had good i thought it had good action i thought it had better acting than the past few that we've had and yeah i just overall i thought it's a good turnaround and i hope people like it i hope people think that this is good and we don't go back to the old style of transformers movie i don't think they are because i i think this was good i don't think they're gonna go back i think they're gonna go forward which is fine i'm excited yeah so this sums up our review of bumblebee let us know in the comments what you think when the movie actually comes out or if you saw an early screening of it let us know what it ranks amongst the other transformers movies and also yeah that's it yeah thanks guys bye, bye.